man what is going on guys we are back today with my absolute favorite series choke of the week i think it's been more than a week since i did the last episode so you knew i had to bring it back in this game oh oh this is an amazing game bro i saw this game live i had the absolute joy of watching this game live i wasn't recording or anything i was just watching it just by myself and i was just dying the whole time i couldn't contain myself this game was amazing the beat the background music i used for this game i looked up on youtube risey k clown beat that's what i looked up and the first thing that came up that's what i decided to use so that's just a little backstory for this match because this is some fucking circus shit but either way we got fakes versus philip 7086 so my boy fakes one of my good buddies me and him play a lot of friendlies usually in gen 6 but i like playing him he's pretty good he plays like i guess all the tiers but uh, he's in gen 4 so dppou my least favorite tier <laughs> DPP LMAO. Anyway, Philip 7086 representing Team US West. He is known as like a DPP vet. He's pretty, he's fire at DPP. I think he's, this is like his main tier for like ever. Um, but yeah, so Philip from US West, fakes from Germany with CBB. Let's hop right into it. Choke of the week. I don't even know what episode this is. Maybe like six. So we see a lead from Metagross from Philip, and Fakes decides to lead off with Uxie. So these could both be, I mean, these are both usual leads. Uh, Fakes goes for what? Stealth Rock as Philip tricks him a scarf. Fakes now is supposed to switch out, goes into Heatran as Philip goes for a Zen Headbutt. So I guess he wasn't a uh, Stealth Rock trick. I guess he was three attack, maybe Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, Explosion, or something like that. Either way, he takes a Fire Blast from Heatran and just dies. So Fakes gets that a pretty good, uh, you know, he gets a pretty good uh, thing out of that. Gets Rocks up and Metagross is down. Kingdra comes in from Philip, goes for a Draco Meteor. You know, 85% of the Obama's still not bad, not bad because, you know, that's a strong ass Kingdra. And Obama's no, you know, he got max HP. He's not Spadef though. If it was Spadef, that shit would have done like 60, maybe even less. Like, if it was max Spadef, that would have been fine. But this Obama's no is just max HP. Either way, he's able to go for Protect. Look at this bullshit. Hail and Stealth Rock slowly, slowly chipping down this Kingdra. He's then able to pivot into his Uxie on the second Draco. That specs uh, from the Obama's no damage, obviously. Just 33 to Uxie. Um, but he's able to pivot out with U turn, which is. A reason why Uxie is so good, I have a DPP hail team as well uh, with Uxie. Maybe I'll show it after the battle. Uh, but yeah, it's DPP, Obama's no hail. And that shit always puts in work because U turn uh, Uxie is just, it's nice. It's nice to have a momentum lead that's also very bulky. Either way, Starmie comes in here on the Bronze Zone because defensive Starmie is pretty good at taking Bronze Zone on. He goes for a Thunder Wave here as Philip is just going to go for his rocks. But Fakes is pretty set to just, you know, quick rapid spin because Bronze Zone can only do what? Payback or explode. Uh, Philip reveals the Rain Dance right here. Yeah, showing that his team is there to support Kingdra, which is pretty cool. Uh, Specs Kingdra plus Rain Dance. Um, I think I used a team like that in the past as well. Anyway, Fakes goes into a Bomb Snow here and catches the Explosion, which was a crazy play. I mean, that was a pretty uh, big play just because Starmie could have maybe 2 KO'd Bronzong in the rain with Hydro or Surf, whatever it had. And maybe Philip thought he might do that, so he went for the Explosion to just get that thing out of the way. But he went to Obama Snow and he clicked boom. If he went for rocks instead, that would have been great because Obama Snow can't even touch Bronzong. So he, he would have been in a much superior position. But somehow the Obama Snow baited the, like he baited the explosion and went to Obama Snow on the right turn. So he ruined the rain and the Zong basically did nothing this entire game. So my man Faze, he's just putting in the numbers, bro. He's putting in the numbers. <laughs> but I mean, he's choking the week. So either way, Uxie comes in here, man. Ladias comes in here as well. Uh, we're gonna see a what a U-turn 25% Uxie is faster of course because it got tricked the scarf from Metagross turn one Jirachi comes in here as Philip goes for a thunder wave this Latias is a support set I think but it's not leftovers it's like so do I guess I don't know wait that shit's banned right whatever I don't know uh he goes for rain dance here and he eats a thunder wave from Jirachi yeah and uh yeah okay he brings in Kingdra here as Fakes goes for a sub. This man is running sub Thunder Wave Jirachi because you know in DPP, you know in DPP, that's all these kids like to run, bro. They like to run Jirachi with Body Slam, Wish, and they love it in this gen the most. Jirachi is the most dangerous in this generation, bro. This thing and Machamp, the dynamic duo, man, motherfucker. Dynamic, get it? Haha. <laughs> Either way, Jirachi and Machamp, you know, they dangerous. Uxie comes in here as... Uh, Kingdra gets full paired, so Fix is able to get off some damage here with a Psychic, does about 32%. As Philip is going to kill that thing off with a Spec Surf, and that's going to be more than enough. And now Fix is going to bring in the boss. You already know. Dragon, now you ready to sweep? He said, This is GG. Let me finish you off. Goes for a DD as Philip is locked into Surf. That does about 45%. Um, but as we are going to see here, uh, the Dragon Knight is actually Roost. Uh, probably max HP roost because uh, surf in the rain only did 45. I didn't even do half So at this point, it's looking pretty bad man because Latias is the answer to Dragonite apparently so he sacks the uh, Latias to Dragon Claw 
and that's that i think philip now is going to send out a steel type i'm not sure who does he send out um who is it oh he sends out scissor yes sir sends out scissor um i guess fakes does not want to stay in, in case it's banded which makes sense as philip is just going to go for a swords dance instead and then he's going to reveal that oh good, good. now he sacks kingdra and he's going to reveal his last so basically looking at it from here uh philip's last is sweet by the way as you're gonna see looking at it from here it looks pretty tough for philip because the sweet is calm mind rest and there's no scald in this generation so dragonite beats uh calm mind rest uh Suicun. so either way drachi comes in here and i believe he's just gonna go for the thunder wave to neutralize this threat a little bit uh whatever the case is he went to jirachi first because he didn't want to run to ice beam i guess uh either way they still have broken explosion and dpp and explosion will do like half the sweet coon. he goes for iron head here and does about nine percent so i guess he could calc from here and then know what kind of set this is um after going for iron head and i believe he does realize then that it is uh max defense from the damage so he goes into dragonite which is fine he probably could have gone to it initially um but either way plus three sweet coon will not do enough to dragonite like this thing is too bulky uh, either way and Suicune is way too weak as you can see surf doesn't do too much only does 39% so short of a crit it looks bad and plus this thing is paralyzed so we see another DD here which is a good play because now he can just start firing off Dragon Claws for free so all Fix has to do here is just click Dragon Claw that's gonna do upwards towards 50% and at that point he'll be good he has Fire Punch Jirachi in the back Scarf Explosion Heatran even if he gets the Suicune down to like 40 30 ish percent he should be good but either way we see a Dragon Claw here see as you can see it does upwards towards 50% Gets hit by a surf. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta make, we gotta make sort of one thing. Why did my man roost right here after this DD on this full para right here, right here, right here? Why was there a roost on turn 28? This is where you will see this battle slowly go downhill. This will be the unfortunate tipping point in choke of the week, the namesake. But anyway, we see a calm mind here. That roost may prove to be fatal for my boy Fakes because now he has put himself in critical hit range however it's fine all he has to do here is just click dragon claw get suicune down to about 15 percent and uh you know that should be good so that's that uh oh philip goes for a rest here but it's completely fine uh he's able to just spam dragon claw regardless he doesn't need to get any more boosts really but fakes goes for a dd okay and uh we see philip you know you know hit that sleep talk you know that's what suicune does here and uh he hits a surf okay 45 percent so here he can just get damage still if he really wants to. Um, but he, you know, he goes for Roost instead. And then I think Philip what? What happens here? Rest. You know, gotta hit the sleep top as per usual. Hits the serve and he crits the Dragonite and it dies. <sighs> I'm so sorry to see that. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. You see the explosion. It does half as we mentioned earlier. So basically, this Suicune is going to prove to be too powerful. It's going to take out the remaining members of the team. Honestly, I don't know how my boy Fakes lost his face. You are my boy. Of course. I got to rep. I got to rep the set. The most fatal. Well, there were a couple very fatal mistakes here. One, just this turn right here, right here, it is impossible to lose. With Dragonite doing 49% from Claw, this thing got full parry. He's at 75. He just spams D-Claw. Like, there's no other move to click. Like, either way. Roost here was the worst play. If he DD'd there, it would have been a great play as well because he would have 2 it KO'd. If he DD'd there, it was, a inst it was instantly won as well if he DD'd on turn 28. Instantly won. Because he would have been at 80%. Surf would have only done around 45 and Dragon Claw would have easily 2 it KO'd. Because plus 2 did 49, so plus 3 would have done, you know, a shit ton. That shit would have done like 60-something. And Surf did absolutely nothing, as you guys can see. Only 43%. But he clicked Root. I don't get it. I mean, maybe he, he couldn't be afraid of Bandit Scizor either because it's not Bandit. That's obvious. I don't know what Dragonite's last movie is, probably Earthquake. But either way, bro, this was a pretty legendary throw. It just comes to show, ladies and gentlemen, that even veterans in the game can throw. All right, don't worry. And even like, you might, I bet Philip didn't even expect to win this game, man, after those first few turns. Like his Bronzong and Metagross, like he made them look like clowns, bro. They, they both got uh, torched, like they didn't do anything. Um, but hey, somehow, somehow, by the grace of God, by the grace of who knows, bro, Arceus, whatever this, this shit is. The Suicune was able to muscle through the Dragonite and Surf credit to knock it out. Hey, either way, bro, honestly, bro, <laughs> I remember I told Fakes I was going to upload this on Choke of the Week. And he was like, man, my plays made sense. Bro, they did not. They did not make sense. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. This was a tough game to lose. But, hey, sometimes you just, hey, you just, you just lose sight. You just lose sight, bro. Not everybody can be CDB, you know? 
fl or, or blunder on me. Who's he be? Man, I mean, he, didn't he lose to blunder twice? Man, that's crazy. Either way, Jirachi, you know, he tries, he tries, but that's a wrap. Goes for some rapid spins, but it's not enough. GG. And that is the game. Hope you all enjoyed Choke of the Week. This was tough, but hey, it happens to the best of them. I'll see you next week. Peace.